okay girls i'm finally here to give you a detailed installation tutorial video using just one product this video is beginner friendly and just for anyone who does not want to be spending all their money on buying wig products girl i'm here to show you that it can be done and look exactly like this First things first, yes, your lace does matter. Whether you want to invest on getting a really good HD lace frontal or just bleaching your knots, definitely do something, work on your wig before putting it on your head. Bleaching the knots of your wig really does make a difference and also just tinting it with your foundation before putting it on. This just allows the lace to blend in much better than it would without any foundation that matches your skin. I personally like putting on the wig on my head before putting on any glue because I realized that when I put the glue first and then pop the wig on my head, a few hairs gets stuck onto the glue and it just makes it way harder to work with now I have been using this glamour spray and the hype is real I have used got to be all my life and I love got to be but this glamour spray guys when they say that it leaves no residue they really meant that so i like to go in with two layers of this glue and listen to me carefully do not ever stick your wig on if the glue is still wet or if the glue is dried down it needs to be tacky and when it is tacky as you guys can see once i put the lace on it just sticks on like i really don't have to do much it literally just sticks on so make sure that your glue is tacky when you are laying the wig let me tell you what happens when you stick on your lace while the glue is still wet what happens is that once you put on your melt band it becomes difficult to take it off i'm sure we've all had those experiences where you're taking off your melt band and there's some white residue or the melt band is just still stuck onto the wig that normally happens when you stick on your lace while the glue is still very wet so make sure that when you are sticking on your lace it is tacky so as you guys can see i really like to take my comb and just press the lace into my skin and then wherever the lace is lifting that's when i go back and work in sections and just put the glue again wherever the lace is lifting and wherever i feel like i need the glue again as you can tell by the way that i'm working with this lace i am literally pressing it into my skin this really helps with those little sections that are lifting during the install you find that the rest of your lace is okay and it's stuck down but you just have those little pieces just that just don't want to stay down so definitely work in sections making sure that you are pressing that lace and that glue you are literally sticking it onto your face baby don't be shy okay so then i go ahead and i clean the residue glue that is on my face right here i was using rubbing alcohol but honestly i have used just water and cotton pads for years and years and it worked perfectly fine for me i honestly i'm telling you the truth you really don't need rubbing alcohol to clean up your lace you can just use water water is your girl water is your best friend and she will never let you down now here's another thing that i feel like really changed the game for me when it came to my installs just going again with a very small brush a very small brush and just going again with your foundation over your lace before putting on the melt band and emphasis on before putting on your melt band i found that when i started doing this like already it just looks so seamless so once i put the melt band on imagine how it's gonna look <laughs> another trick oh my gosh i'm actually just giving you guys all the tricks in the world you guys better thank me 
listen i'm not saying get rid of your mouth pens but like using just a um a pantyhose what i did over here is that i cut my stockings and i literally use that now to melt my hair and the reason that this works is because it's so tiny because it is so tiny it works so well and sticks down that really the front part of your lace i hope that this makes sense but the very beginning part of your lace is the only place that you need your lace to fully melt and i'm telling you guys that this will do exactly that so while i leave this on i just go ahead with styling my hair and basically after that i'm done you guys will see at the end it just looks so good and trust and believe me when i tell you that this did not take me more than 15 minutes okay forget the styling and everything but just the installing it did not take me more than 15 minutes minutes so this is very quick easy affordable and just 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 watch just watch what i'm talking about look at the beginning look it's not even <laughs> it's not there one thing that i will say with using these stockings as your melt band is that if it does fold it will leave a mark on your forehead as you can see but guys it looks so gorgeous it looks so seamless it's giving no lace whatsoever please detect it because i cannot see it so where does the lace even begin where where does it begin where does it end where does it start and finish baby <laughs>